Hurry, hurry, step right up. Come on down here to the Imagination Station and imagine it with the chief scientist, Carl Nelson. He is here to tell us what we're doing. What are we doing? We're doing some science that you can do in the shower or bathtub. Really? <laughs> yeah, with, with body wash. Okay. Okay, so body wash is a really sort of interesting product. It is, um, oh here, let me just go ahead and do it. If you want, you could pour some in your hand, it does get messy, or you, oh. could, use the, you could use the plate. Either I like way to will get work. messy, let's okay, do so this. I'll, I'll let you control oh, it. Okay. So what it, just pour a pile. A lift, pile? Lift, lift, yeah, lift up, yeah. Uh, lift yeah. up a little bit higher, and just really gently, I don't know if, uh -huh. if we're seeing a little bit. You see, you see how it kind of squirts to the side sometimes? Do it again. Okay. You, you, got, you, got a, you got a big stream there. Here, let's be more scientific with it. I've got a funnel, and we're going to just let some of this shower gel drip onto a plate. And the, the cool thing I'm looking for is if you... Oh, oh you there's see that? a good one, yeah. Yeah, these, like, these little jets sometimes. Mostly it makes like a little pile of gel, mm -hmm. and sometimes it just whoa, shoots out whoa. to the side. And that one went off the plate. Whoa. So it's like, what the heck is going on yeah, here? Yeah, what right? are you up to, soap? So, what these manufacturers do is they add a, what's called a, a long chain polymer. So this is my model of a polymer. So multiple repeating units, a long chain. And if you pour the gel into your hand, it makes a nice pile. And that's what you want if you have a four-year-old because you don't want the soap just rolling off their hands. I see. Right? But if you apply a shear force when you like smear it on your body, so I put it on the, on the body here and you smear it back and forth, those polymer chains sort of thin out. It's actually a shear thinning liquid. It's the opposite of oobleck. If you ever heard of oobleck, the yes. cornstarch, that's right. a sheer thickening liquid. Okay. This stuff is like paint. When you dip your brush into a paint can, you want to pull it out with no drips and then smoothly apply it to the wall. All right. So it thins when it gets a sheer force to it. And that's what's happening here. Um, and actually, I did some close-up video of this too, so you can actually see it up close. Check this out. So I got a little stream coming in, and you can see it's making a pile, and then all of a sudden, it sort of makes a divot in the pile and that allows a little stream to come shooting up because when it slides off the pile, there's a layer that gets sheer thinned and it becomes like a lubricant and allows that jet to just jump right out. And in fact, you can even see as it skittles across the surface, it doesn't really mix until it kind of gets clumped up and then it sort of falls down inside. Yeah, wow. So, the, you know, the other cool thing with this is that if you put this at an angle, so I, I put it on an angled plate and let the stream fall, <laughs> It will, let me start it from here. It, it makes a little pile, a little clump, but eventually it makes that divot. The uh, layer becomes sheer thin, it becomes a lubricant, and then it can shoot right out. And it's really cool, when it interferes with itself, it makes all sorts of interesting little patterns. Yeah. Right? And um, so, you know, some really cool science with sheer thinning fluids. And the manufacturers, you know, they're really clever. What, you know what they do for kids and, and, and men? In this sort of stuff, I'm going to use your, your marker here. Okay. Um, if you were to like plot let's, viscosity versus shear, you know, how much force you're putting on, kids' body wash and shampoo kind of starts up here, and it has a kind of a plateau, and then the more force you add, it kind of gets thinner. Men's start roughly around the same area, and they don't really have a plateau. It just thins right away. Women's, they don't add quite as much because they want a silky experience. <laughs> so it starts out at a lower, it stays silky for a while, and then it drops. Huh. Right, so it's, it's interesting, it's all about how, you know, our perception of how you want the product to feel is how much thickening product they add in there. So when you step into the shower and you think, oh, it doesn't make a difference if I'm using mom's body wash, it actually does. Well, in terms of the feel of right, what it yeah. goes on. I mean, you don't want the body wash to go on like toothpaste, right? You want it to, <laughs> you want it to flow when you apply a force, but you don't want it to fall out of your hand when your kid tips his hand upside yeah. down. Yeah, well, I was just thinking they slapped or, another label on it, but yeah. it's, that's not the truth. They actually did manufacture something different. They do, and, and it just try this at home. I mean, it's so amazing. It's, it's mesmerizing to see the little jets shoot out. It is cool. You can watch this all day, and you can come on down to the Imagination station you're gonna to have to ask your mom to do either so bring a grown-up with you and if you live in Lucas County and you're a kid you can bring your grown-up along and the grown-up pays to get in but you don't have to you get in free with a paid adult admission on Saturdays and today's and, Saturday and try this put your cell phone in a, in a Ziploc bag and oh get boy. a video up close that's a good idea it's really kind of cool you yeah. get some amazing shots with the high speed make sure you run this past an adult no matter what because now I've got soap all over my hands <laughs> And we're using a lot of this soap up, and it could take up some time in the shower, but that's how you imagine it.